like to show you uh, also one of the uh, important meme um, on this particular aspect that if suppose we people are having we are having one core one core and uh, one coil suppose inductive type now here this is the core this is the core i will consider this one as a core and another one is the another oh, so another one here if i specify this one this is the i am core and here if i try to provide a coil coil current is passing through this particular coil current is passing through this particular coil there will be a flux linkage yes there will be a flux linkage between this particular term depending upon the displacement depending upon the displacement this is nothing but the ear gap this is your ear gap or other than that i will consider this one as a displacement now flux linkage will be more when it is moving towards inside means ear gap has been reduced at that time the flux linkage between this particular iron part and this core will be the maximum one and when it is moving away at that time ear gap will be the maximum ear gap will be maximum one at that time flux linkage will be minimum now if you try to correlate the linking of the flux that flux linkage will be proportional to the displacement of the this particular core displacement of the core as it moves away at that time flux linkage will be less as it moves inside the flux linkage will be more okay so uh, over here with reference to the concept which i have explained that was the basic concept but here this is lvdt is the inductive type of transducer that can be used for the measurement of displacement now in this one this particular part is the primary part this one are the two secondary coils and this is nothing but the core for which we people are applying the displacement here we people are applying the displacement i will show you the brief working of this particular uh, lvdt for the measurement of the displacement now what happened for this one is see here these are the primary these are the two secondary coils and this is the primary one these are the two secondary now what is happening when this core is moving back and forth when this core is moving back and forth back and forth at that time either it will link to your secondary one or either it will link to your secondary two when it is at the uh, middle position at that time the resultant output v which is generated is equal to zero is equal to zero how this is so i will explain you in a detail in the next slide how we people are getting the resultant output zero so here the basic transducer which is always useful in the field of instrumentation that is your linear linear variable differential transformer it is actually transformer not transducer but you can use it for a displacement transducer but the name is linear variable differential transformer and why this is so differential transformer not displacement transducer 
transducer but displacement transformer reason is that here we people are using the windings that's why now how this lvdt works it works based upon the principle of mutual inductance and the displacement which is non electrical energy is converted into electrical one depending upon the displacement of the core in proportion to the displacement in proportion to the displacement output voltage is generated output voltage is generated so actual structure is shown uh, to the uh, right hand side okay see here. this is the primary core which is moving which is either moving if your core is moving to this side at that time the core suppose this is the position of the core and at this particular place it has been moved towards the upward side if i have consider this one as secondary one so my core will be between these two parts primary and secondary one primary and secondary one so here the flux linkage will be maximum across my primary and secondary one and if i try to correlate with this particular one there will be no flux linkage because my core has been shifted to this side core has been shifted to upper side so minimum flux linkage or no flux linkage will be there so output generated across my secondary two will be negligible will be zero but it will be maximum at this so we have consider v1 as a maximum one and v2 as a minimum one so my output v0 will generate a output suppose uh, v1 because v2 is zero v2 is zero but this is depend upon the displacement which we have taken place or which has been taken place now similar is the case similar is the case with your downward side also it is similar is the case with your downward side also if the core has been shifted towards v2 towards v2 at that time there will be maximum flux linkage across v2 and minimum flux or zero flux linkage across v1 so over here your resultant output generated will be in negative terminology because v1 is zero minus v2 the maximum flux linkage now shifting is in the downward anti direction so here you are going to get positive output also and negative output also positive output as well as negative output you people are going to get uh, in case of your secondary one and the characteristic are also uh, in positive and negative quadrant so uh, this was related to your uh, linear variable differential transformer now comparison of uh, this particular transducer that is resistive transducer capacitive transducer and inductive type of transducer what are the changes we people are having and what things that we are measuring where it is applicable measures up to 100 mm for linear one in resistive one capacitive is having higher sensitivity then uh, this one uh, inductive is also having higher linearity resistive type measures 100 to 350 degree for angular uh, sorry 10 degree to 350 uh 357 degree for angular one i have not specified 360 i have specified 357 means that much tolerance is there for resistive one in capacitive it is good frequency response it will provide a good frequency response in inductive it is having a higher resolution it is having higher resolution in resistive type load effective it is load effective 
in capacitive state capacitance effective and in inductive interference due to stray magnetic field there is a chances of stray magnetic field due to interference environmental condition then uh, in resistive one minimum electric equipment required then uh, temperature sensitive capacitive is temperature sensitive inductive is also uh, inductive is not temperature sensitive but temperature insensitive means what is temperature sensitive and temperature insensitive when your temperature increases when your temperature increases along with the variation in the temperature the capacitance may change means there is no need of changing the displacement also means that's why it is temperature sensitive but similar is not the case with the inductive type of transducer resistive type is economical one Uh, capacitive is dust particle may cause change in the capacitor now this is also uh, sensitive to dust particle because uh, as i have specified that change in capacitance is the function of uh, permittivity then your uh, uh, distance then your area so uh, permeability or the, whatever the uh, chemical conducting material that is present in the two plate that may change the capacitance so it is sensitive to the dust particle uh, inductive type non contact type inductive type you can even use for the non contact type as i have drawn on that white board that is also one non contact type uh, you can use inductive type so uh, here we people will uh, stop this particular lecture so whatever the references that i have used for uh, learning uh, this one uh, was it's uh, 